from your hyperlocal weather source. This is your Norcast weather update. As a medical director, I work closely with all our providers as well as the nursing staff to ensure we provide top-notch quality care for all our residents. Seeing every resident achieving their goal and being satisfied with our care gives me a lot of pride to be part of the team of preferred care at EPSI. Hi everybody, good morning, happy Thursday, meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. The good news is we are slowly starting to taper off uh, with the heat that we've been seeing for the past couple of days. Now today is still going to be hot, we still have a heat advisory for our area, but yesterday was actually the peak as far as the warmest temperatures that we've seen for this stretch. And then as we look forward to this weekend, we will be back down into the 80s. We're also seeing a chance for some rain on the way. It'll be the later half of the day, Friday into the overnight hours as we see a nice cold front moving in that's going to help to clear out some of that heat and help to cool us down get us into the 80s for this weekend and we are watching the tropics we now have hurricane lee and we are keeping a close eye on how that storm progresses as it continues to track further west and closer uh, towards potentially the east coast i'll have details on that in just a minute but for right now we do still have a heat advisory it did get extended yesterday all the way through till eight o'clock tonight i don't anticipate this getting stretched into friday as we do start to cool down uh, over the next couple of hours, overnight tonight, we'll see things sort of simmer. And then again, Friday, we're tracking that cold front, so I don't think it'll be as warm. Today, though, still back up into the mid-90s, feeling even warmer. You'll feel like 99, maybe 100 degrees today. That's what prompted the continuation of that heat advisory. Friday, slowly working our way back down. And then even by Sunday, we still might feel like the 90s, but at least we will be in the 80s. So we're working our way back towards some cooler and maybe even more seasonable temperatures, particularly next week looks a lot nicer. Looking at uh, the continuation of heat for today, you do want to make sure you are taking it easy, but also think about those furry friends of yours. Keep them inside as much as possible and try to keep them off the blacktop and the sidewalk because those surfaces do tend to heat up pretty quickly. If you're heading down the shore today to seek some relief from the heat, it will be better than areas further inland, but still feeling very warm, probably feeling closer to 90 degrees with the heat and the humidity. Tomorrow, like I said, a few degrees cooler, but still feeling very muggy out there. No heat advisory for Friday, so at least it is progress. Now let's look in at Hurricane Lee. Newest updates, uh, we're looking at pretty similar uh, setup as to what we've been seeing for the past couple of days. It's gonna continue to organize, continue to strengthen. It's about to run in some, into some very warm uh, ocean water and that's gonna act as fuel for this storm, help it get more organized and help it really grow. Still looking to head north of Puerto Rico and the Leeward Islands, kind of staying south of Bermuda, but we still are tracking that potential for it to make that right turn, kind of head further north later on in the week. As far as impacts, we still can't pinpoint any of that right now. It all depends on how the trough sets up over our area. That'll be a kind of a steering factor on how far Lee kind of tracks west or east or kind of stays out to sea. So we'll keep you up to date on that. Here's a look at the setup. So most of your day Friday does look dry. You will be seeing a couple of extra clouds really in the middle part of the day. The showers kind of hold off until very late. Saturday and Sunday, still a chance for some scattered showers, not a complete washout. If you have any plans for Saturday or for this weekend, you don't have to go canceling them just yet. It's not going to be uh, rainy and gray and cloudy every single day all day long, but you might run into some quick little showers kind of popping up and moving through. More importantly, look at those temperatures slowly working their way back into the 80s. By next week, we might even be in the 70s, so much cooler, more comfortable weather on the way, but there is some extra chances for some showers for next week. Okay, I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning. I'll be checking in with you later on.